Hi, this is my long-awaited review of our GE washer dryer combo. Hello. So, whoops. This video quality is going to be really bad, but I told myself that I have to do this video. I want to do it for you guys because I know a lot of you have been waiting probably for a very long time. Um, and I know the post I made was last year because we got this washer dryer combo it's the ge profile one uh we got it last year in september i believe so i had pretty much a good one year of using this machine and i will just go off i don't have a piece of paper with me or anything i didn't really write anything down as far as like pros and cons but i will just you know kind of start going down the list i will start with the uh, cons first um the major con for me is well i have the machine running right now but when you clean out the lint like the lint pocket or like the harbor or whatever there it goes far back <clears throat> um here let me flip the camera or maybe i can't flip it but so this is where the lint is it's currently drying i have a load in right now it's currently drying so i don't want to pull this out if it was still doing the wash cycle i probably would have pulled it out but um and then it's it's just difficult to clean back there that's the only complaint i have um as far as that goes um and another con is for example if you have like towels i noticed this with towels when you have different material towels so let's say you have this kind of like a microfiber material with um i have the towels in there with a cotton like a cotton material towel the towels will not be fully dry so i noticed that i have to separate the when it comes to towels only i have to separate those materials so i'll do a load of this microfiber uh, material and then I'll do a load of like the cotton material for the towels um, I generally use just the sensory dry which it'll um, dry until it senses that the load is dry and then it'll cool cool down it has like a five minute cool down cycle and then it, it's complete um, you can either love or hate it I don't hate that option with lighter loads I just do the timed dry, which you have all these dry options. So with like lighter loads, so it can be done faster. I just do the timed dry. Um, so those are the cons as of right now. Um, it is a little more maintenance than I had an LG washer and dryer. Um, so it's a little more maintenance than what I was used to before. Um, so that's another thing. Um, it could be annoying for somebody. For me, I'm just like, whatever. Um, I have to maintain the thing. Um, so really, that's the only cons for me, per se. For me only. Um, pros, it's all in one. So it will wash and it will dry your load which I love because I, I'm the type of person that I will literally throw in a load into the washer and then I would forget about it and I'd have to rewash it. Uh, sometimes the load would just get ruined and I have to throw everything away um, or like just wash like a million times for like that smell to go away. But this does a really good job. Um, the Another pro is you have all these uh, different cycles that you can choose from. It comes with an app um and it has like upgrades and updates and it i noticed with the most recent software update it actually remembers the last load cycle that i did so it will automatically kind of select that load for me um you can also like if you want to just dry you can just select when you turn the washer on you just click the wash part off and it shuts it off and then just do your dry cycle if you want to dry and same thing in reverse if you want to just wash it just turn off the dry the dry button and it will just only wash the clothes um, in the app you can also like if you want to be alerted when the wash cycle is done you can also set that in your notification settings in the app 
Um, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, oh, one more con that I kind of was like, eh, it does not have a steam cycle because my old dryer had a steam cycle where I can just run a steam cycle. This does not, which it, I don't hate it, you know, but I don't love that 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 doesn't have a steam cycle. Okay. Um, so back to the pros, what I was talking about. But yeah, it's really cool. I really like it. Um, it does also have a smart dispense detergent and softener. So where it is, the smart dispense softener is in here. So what you do is you just literally take the whole thing and you dispense it right in there. And then in here, you have the smart dispense right in there. And in the app, you can scan you can scan whatever detergent it is or softener that you have in there. And based on that, um, it'll know like if it's super concentrated and depending on your settings, if you have it on to release like less amount, um, automatic based on your load size, or if you want it to release more, it kind of like, you know, I don't know what it does, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, so lately I haven't been using the smart dispense because my kids, um, they have, they're sensitive to regular, um, what's it called? Detergent. Um, and the detergent I use is not in the app. I mean, you can still do it. You could just do it under whatever, or, you know, you don't really have to scan the detergent or the softener you're using. You don't have to do that. You can if you want to. It was just a cool feature that I took advantage of. So you can still use the smart dispense option, even if you can't find whatever you're using in the app, if you're trying to scan it. It will still work. Just don't worry about it. Just use it. <laughs> Um, what else? What else? What else? I have used more dry, especially for towels. Um, I have used more dry. Um, pros. What other pros do I have? Oh, as far as electricity goes, it only literally uses a three-prong plug. You won't be able to see because it's dark down there. Um, and it does not have, like, a vent hole, you know, to go out, you know, that, like, thing. And that was, like, a big thing as to why we bought this washer dryer combo uh, we are doing as you can tell a bunch of renovations and um like it's a big space saver in regards to you know having one machine instead of two um because what we were going to do is we were going to stack the other ones but i came across this and i'm like oh my goodness you know you know we don't have to drill holes in the walls it essentially will save on electricity because you know uh, load size, the load, um, the amount of time one load finishes, um, average, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how big the load is. Towels take the longest. I will say that towels do take the longest. Um, if I have on sensory dry, um, it's about hour and a half, two, it's about two hours if I have it on sensory dry. If I have it on time dry, um, with about 45 minutes to an hour dry time, it's about hour 45 ish um, also make sure you're always cleaning your lint because I noticed that if I um, if I would neglect the lint thing my clothes will not be very very dry um, one thing I had to get used to was not you know not needing to you know move loads and also the clothes the laundry it doesn't come out staticky dry that's another thing that i love is especially towels because you know like when you pull out a load and like you're just like full of static it doesn't do that um it feels humid is the best word i can use to describe it so when you take it out you it, it feels like it's still wet but it's not it's just, and then when you give it a good shake it's perfectly dry um i love that took me a little bit to get used to because I'm so used to the static and the super extra dryness um but I love it I love it it's um it's great I love it now it's I don't get like you know shot with static all the time now like there's literally no static um let's see what else really the only features I use the most is the time dry 
sometimes I'll do more dry when I'm doing towels um this time I did not um and I generally use just I just click and I just you know press start and I go um, lately I have been using the time dry cycle because I, I noticed that it does lower the cycle amount um, on a regular little load with like the kids clothes like an hour and a half um, and it's fine because it's a smaller load if it's a bigger load when you have a lot of stuff then it will take a little longer to dry so really it all depends on your load types the amount of you know basically your load types um, if you have a small load, it will take smaller amount of time because um, a lot of it depends on the amount of time it needs to dry. That's the biggest thing because um, I've heard a lot of like backlash. It's like, oh, it takes forever. It takes forever. Not really. If you take into consideration, like, so for example, my old washer and dryer set, my washer, the wash load generally would take anywhere from 45 minutes to 50 minutes just to wash. And then the dry time is also anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. So really it's about the same amount of time for one load that it really took. So really it doesn't take longer. Um, so I mean, that's, that's my whole spiel about it. Those are the major things that I can think of right now. I know I kind of went like back and forth cause I don't, like I said, I didn't really write anything down. I did want to make this video um like as soon as possible oh another thing i found on amazon and also i watched a bunch of review videos they highly recommend these super long brushes to clean um inside of here okay um to clean inside of there so like because to get really back in there it's a pain in the ass to clean so these work really well to help um get all up in there so i hope this review was helpful um do i recommend this machine absolutely i do um again my usage may be different than yours um but it's definitely i find it very useful i've had it for a year uh, like i said the biggest thing that i have to deal with is the lint cleaning part i mean that's my biggest annoying annoyance i should say um but you have you have to like stay on top of that and but yeah that's it really um i hope this was helpful and i know a lot of you were were asking and i know it took me a year to do this review but yeah and here she is she is beautiful she works just as just as good as she was here on day one um like i said just keep up on your lint cleaning